Hi, howdy, hey. You are watching episode 53 of the Daily Decrypt, independent members of the LTV network. I'm Amanda, your host, and today's episode is brought to you by BNC Exchange. The long-awaited and much-touted free and decentralized marketplace OpenBazaar has released a Debian client for adventurous Linux users who'd like to get started now. The YouTube channel Flipside Bits has released this video of themselves creating their new storefront on OpenBazaar. Bitcoin is the only currency accepted for transactions on OpenBazaar, and Mac and Windows clients are expected to be released soon. Why is crypto entrepreneur Wences Cesares so bullish on Bitcoin? Wences recently granted an interview to Business Insider in which he claims that historical bartering is a myth. He argues that physical money arose because humans kept debt ledgers in their heads within their own communities. As the first money to live on an open and trustworthy ledger, Wences claims that Bitcoin is the manifestation of what money always should have been. Take an interesting plunge into revisionist history in the article linked in the description. Sponsored shout-out from the peace-loving folk at Roberts & Roberts Metals Brokerage. Sellers of gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, who from now until Wednesday, December 23rd, will be donating all of their profits to Antiwar.com. If you're in the market for metals, support a good cause while you're at it by using the checkout coupon code PEACEONEARTH when you buy anything from rrbi.co. The data heads at Cryptorials have released a new article which lists 10 ways and 101 websites for those looking to earn some bitcoins in their spare time. Detailing options from faucets, microtasking, tip earning to content producing, the article is a quick read and a great first step for those looking at to dapple in their first bitcoin earnings. BTC Pop is a year-old peer-to-peer Bitcoin lending site, which also offers savings accounts and a small exchange for Bitcoin, Peercoin, Litecoin, and Blackcoin. Bitcoin savings accounts hosted at BTC Pop are listed as receiving 5% APR and interest, lenders set their own rates, and borrowers are credit checked through Ardiva verification services. Open source computer code may negate the need for trusting other humans, but until all human interactions take place on smart contracts, trust is still very much a factor in day-to-day -day life. To help build the identity-based web of trust, BitNation offers a global ID registration on the web. Upload your photo, statistics, and have two friends sign as witnesses, and you have a BitNation verified identification. The next software version of the Voluntary Governance Platform will feature a partnership with the service Identify, allowing users to leave positive, neutral, or negative ratings based on their interactions with individuals and organizations. Today's episode has kindly been brought to you by BNC Exchange, which will be web-based and decentralized upon its launch. You'll be able to trade native assets there like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dogecoin, and there will be no central points of failure, as all funds will sit in multi-signature addresses. Learn more at bcexchange.org. LTB viewers, your magic word is surveillance. Ooh, look it up. And anyone interested in listening rather than watching the Daily Decrypt, check out the podcast linked in the description. Bye.